so for step 36, attaching the tail lights. Well, you can see that we're going to need double-sided tape, uh, two pieces for either side, and then we're going to stick them down on the underside of the body. And I've already cut out the pieces um, that we're going to need, and it does show you these are actual size, so you just need to cut out the double-sided tape to exactly what their specifications are, um, which is easy to do. So that is um, all we need there. But also we're going to be attaching the uh, LED light unit to the underside of the truck, which is basically going to go underside on the roof. And there's a piece of double-sided tape that's already included in the lighting kit. And you can see that's just going to sit over top. It's, it's basically a perfect fit to this square. So we need to do that and we need to do that for 36. So I'll set it all up and let's install the lights. So first off with this, let's affix the uh, double-sided tape. So we'll attach the bigger pieces, and of course they're going to go along this backside here. Now what I tend to want to do is keep it as far to the left as possible so that you're not super close to the actual lights that's going to be seen uh, behind the plastic in the body. So I'm going to take it all the way to the end. just like that and then we're gonna grab the other one and same again I'll keep this as close to the edge as possible and again just like that and it's okay it's it's gone over just a touch but essentially it's gonna look like that because I just want to keep everything away from this part which is going to be visible so the same thing again with the other other side grab this take off the double-sided tape or half of it same again stick it on this side And grab the little one. Same again. And we'll put that on the bottom side there. That ought to do the trick. So now that the double-sided tape is on, we can now affix it to the body. Now, on this one, I'm going to try and show you, but I know that um, with the front, it, it's just... I think it's going to be easier for me to just do this without it being on camera, but we'll give it a shot. So I was right. It was going to be tough to do this on camera because I needed... It, it's such fine detail in that I need my eyes on the back end of this as I'm putting this in that I couldn't really see it through the, the camera and be able to do it at the same time. So there are the lights. They are installed and you can see from the other side just how they're going to end up looking and you can see that the bulb in there if you can sort of see in there you can see the bulb right in there and I and I in terms of placement you had to make sure that those lights uh, the plastic all the way around was actually sitting properly so that there were no gaps um, and then you could end up having a hole that you could see through. So I wasn't able to do it on camera, but you get the idea. And it's just going to be a matter of making sure the double-sided tape goes down in the correct place. So that's cool. Like now we've got the both the front and the rear lights attached. Now the other thing um, to note to make note of is that obviously we need to, need to put in the the light unit and. That double piece of tape that I showed you that was a square, technically it was two pieces, so you don't need the whole thing. And we're going to place it pretty much where they suggested, which is right on the backside, right before the curve of the windshield. So I'll put it probably right about there. And we've got to put it down with the double-sided tape. Now the other thing is, I, th I looked at it and oh, I forgot that inside the box, 
there actually is this light unit manual, you could say, which is showing you that you put in the lights into the spots there where you can see there's there's actually eight spots. So, I mean, you could have eight lights on this car and then this one is gonna go in for the battery terminal. So, if you remember this piece, this is going to plug into the battery spot on the left and then when you put in your battery you're going to plug the battery into here and then the ESC will have the other male clip which will clip into there which means that you've now got power coming from the battery also to the lights so I'm just going to install this into the truck and the other thing to note, make note of is that this, this is what these are for. These, and I'll, there's, there's four of them, and I'll do... Well, that one seems to have got caught. Well, there we go. These are to um, keep the cables out of the way. So you see how you're going to put the cable underneath it. It's double-sided tape. And once the cables are in, you're going to squish this down and basically clamp it. So that's how we're going to be able to get the wiring out of the way. So I'm just going to do this and then um, I'll come back and, and show you how I placed it and where I put these because I'm, I'm not totally sure where I want to put them yet. Um, but I'll, I'll install it all and then we'll, we'll take another look. So the light unit is now attached and I've stuck it down. So you can see this one, the cable kind of naturally was um, basically bending over this way it's pretty they're pretty firm cables so I stuck this in the middle because it's actually holding it down and the same sort of thing on this side there was it naturally seemed to want to go this way so I put the clip over here which is taking it out of the way and then this cable was pretty much loose and just sort of hanging out so I've put another clip down at the bottom so that this clip is holding down that wire and it seems to be exactly okay. I'm happy with it. Now this one obviously is plugging into the battery. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do because there is one more of these clips. So I could attach this here um, on this sidewall which might be enough length, but I'm gonna wait till I get to that stage um, and then I can determine whether I'm gonna use another clip or just let this be free. Now you can see on the, on the unit itself, um, I've got the front lights going into slot one and I've got the rears going into slot six. I don't think that it matters which way, but there is another um, spot here which is designed to plug in a control unit. Now the control unit might have different functions for all of these, so I may need to move the red wire up here beside the white, but because on that insert manual they were showing putting it into one and six, I've just done the same. The only thing is that I did notice is it's not saying which, whether you put the red one into, the, into six or the headlights into six, I don't know. And so maybe it doesn't matter. So anyway, that is it. We've got our we've got our front lights on, we've got our tail lights in, and the light units all ready to go. So <clears throat> we are finished with step 36. So now let's move on to step 37, and we're going to install the side mirrors and get them all ready. Mm -hmm. 